All right, so when it comes to preparedness and self-reliance, one of the things that I personally like to focus on is entertainment. I feel like mental health is extremely important. I feel like laughing and having fun with everybody can really take a stressful situation and make it a lot better. I feel like morale is extremely boosted when everybody can sit down and enjoy a fun game together. And so I think games are extremely important. And if you've been watching anybody talk about games in the prepper community, they say that the best game you can get is a deck of cards because a deck of cards has hundreds of different games that you can play. And I've probably even said that, right? I've probably told you that. Uh, everybody says that. And so I challenged myself. I was like, if there was no Google, I can't Google anything just off the top of my head, just from memory, how many card games can I think of? And I thought I was gonna think of a bunch. I'm a huge board game collector. I'm a huge game fan. I like card games and board games and I thought I was gonna get at least 50, right? I got 11. <laughs> there are 11 games on this list. Uh, I could have spent more time on it, but if I would have spent more time on it and really crunched and thought hard, I probably would get 20 at most, maybe. <laughs> Not, nowhere near 50, right? And so, it really was eye-opening for me. And so I wanna know right now, in the comments section, pause this video and let me know how many card games you can play with this deck of cards without Googling games. Like what games can you think of? Let me know in that comment section. And yeah, hopefully you do better than 11. And to be completely honest with you, out of those 11, if I only had this one deck of cards, nothing else, just a deck of cards, I could only play six of these 11 games. And so, yeah, it's not as versatile as you would think. Uh, the first game is Crazy Eights, Go Fish, King's Corner, War, Old Maid, and Solitaire. So those six games are actually, I'm pretty proud of those six games because Solitaire you can play by yourself, you can entertain yourself. Uh, Old Maid is best at three, War is best at two, King's Corner is good for two to four players, Crazy Eights is good for two to like six players, Goldfish is good for like two to six players. And so there's a lot, you can, I can play by myself, I can play with a lot of people, and I don't think that those six games are gonna get boring, right? It's not like you're gonna play it once or twice and then just be done with it. They're games that you can play over and over and over and over again and still find entertainment out of them. And so, those are good six games. And then if I add paper and pen, I added spades and hearts, right? Because hearts, you need to be able to keep score. Spades, you need to be able to place bids and then score off those bids. The problem with spades and hearts though is that you need exactly four players. And so for me personally, I have a family of three. And so I don't really get to play those games. If Now if I was in a community, if I was, if my parents come over or if my brother and somebody comes over, then I might have four to play with. And so then we could play spades and hearts. But just as is, I don't get to play those games very often. And then the last three is kind of a cheat as well. Uh, I need poker chips. And if I have poker chips, I can play blackjack, Texas Hold'em, and poker. And when I think of poker, I think of like five card draw, five card stud, seven card draw, seven card stud, you know, like standard poker. So it's a cheat because technically all three of them are poker, but also it's a cheat because I don't remember if a straight beats a flush or if a flush beats a straight. Uh, I don't remember if three of a kind beats two pair or if two pair beats three of a kind. And so in my personal poker chips, I have a printout. I printed out the hand order. So if I have my poker chips, I can use that printout and I would know what hands beat what. But if I was using somebody else's poker chips, I would just have to make it up. Like, I don't know, hopefully they know, because <laughs> I don't. And so, again, my goal now is I'm gonna make a printout. So hopefully you left 
your games that you thought of in the comment section down below. I'm going to put a bunch of them together. I'm going to make a printout of games. I'm going to put it in my poker chips with the hands, the poker chip hands, or the poker card hands. Uh, I'm going to put them together so that if we are in a power outage situation, if we are in a situation where we don't have Google to look up things, because a lot of times the power goes out, you don't have internet, you're trying to preserve the battery on your phone for emergency alerts and checking the weather and checking to see how long the power is going to be out. You know, you're trying to preserve that battery. You don't want to waste it looking up card games and rules and different things. And so I think it's a great list to have. And I hope to make a longer list of more games. I hope to make I hope to have more games that just include this one deck of cards and that don't need poker chips or pen and paper so that it's not as cumbersome. I can literally just have this one deck of cards. So yeah, it was really eye-opening experience for me. Hopefully it gets you thinking because if you only know two games with this deck of cards, this deck of cards is only two games. Where if another person like me knows 11, I can get 11 games out of this. And I'm sure there's some of you watching that can come up with 20, 25 games and you would get even more bang for your buck with these cards. And I wanna join you in that. I wanna know at least 20 games, hopefully more. So let me know in that comment section and I can't wait to see you on my next video.